Good afternoon, Thursday, November 12th. Appreciate all the comments in the previous videos. Wanted to give a new video out. Um, want to talk about Weidmuller's U-Remote product. Not sure if you've seen it yet. Um, truthfully, I think they were a little late getting to market, a little bit, but um, have a lot of customers using it with great success. So here in my hands is the Ethernet IP bus coupler. Um, Ethernet IP basically snaps on any number of modules that you can come up with within the family. So digital in, digital out, analog in, analog out, temperature, RTD, thermocouple, there's some power quality modules. Um, IO Link is new. Um, they also have a branch bus to go IP67 for field mountable modules. So a couple things about the product. Two Ethernet ports, so you can switch these. Um, just daisy chain on. It has a USB port here. USB port, you're allowed to hit the web server uh, directly through the USB so you can turn on and off inputs and outputs and check I.O., things like that. So um, within this video, I want to, basically I did a little video as well, how to basically make this work with an Allen Bradley processor. But before I go there, I'm gonna do a quick click here. And uh, this is the demo case that um, I can lend out. So I have a Compact Logix processor, um, eight channels of input, eight channels of output. I also threw a couple things in there. It's an ABB ACS380 drive, little ethernet switch and power supply. So you can basically power the thing up and run it. So um, let me go to the next video, or the video I did here, start this. Um, so getting this to work within your ArsLogix 5000 Studio is pretty simple. So once you have the project loaded, in this case I'm using Software Rev 32, I'm gonna go to the EDS hardware tool and the first step is you got to register your EDS file. Registering the EDS file is very, very simple. Just click through the wizard, and what we're going to do is point to the EDS file that you can download off the web, uh, off the Weidenmuller website. Um, doing it right here, just click through the icons. You'll see the U Remote icon um, show up, and boom, over in the tree on the left. So now we basically need to add a module to our Ethernet structure. The demo case that I have has one digital in, one digital out. So all we're going to do is right click here, new module, and then you just simply search W-E-I-D-M-U-E-L-L-E-R, that's the German spelling, and I select that EDS file. Click on there, and now let's take a quick look. So we're going to call this U-Remote, make it very simple, and then I have a standard class C address of 192.168.1.10. And then down below, I'm going to click on change because we're going to use compatible match um, exclusive owner. Now, this is firmware rev 1.6. You want to change that. Obviously, the default was 1.5. And then the amount of, of short integers available. So with the bus coupler, there's two input short ints and two short put uh, short int outputs. That's the diagnostics for the bus coupler. Now with one eight channel module in and one eight channel module out, I need to add two input short ints, so a total of four here. And then I'm going to click down here and add four on the output. I can go into more detail on that if somebody has a question, but um, it's all in the manual. It's pretty simple. It also, you can see the same data within the instances 102 and 103 within the web server. After that, click OK accept the changes, press OK, and once you're there, close that out. Now, look, check this out. Over here under the A1 Ethernet, we can actually start to bring up, let me go up here and go to the, I think it's controller tags. Yep, here we go. And then I'm gonna go to my U Remote section, and you'll see U Remote 1, and there we go. So zero and one, as I said, are the diagnostics for the bus coupler. So my first channels um, of eight inputs are right here, starting at zero all the way down to seven. And then also for the outputs, eight channels are down below. So once again, zero and one are gonna be the, um, the diagnostics for the bus coupler right here. And then right here is the, right beneath it is the outputs. So obviously you can create aliases for these tags and rewrite them. So, and right here again, uh, word th short integer three is your diagnostics for that output module. So real quick, um, what I did is I wrote um, some code that basically links the first input to, this, to the first output. 
second input to the second output, all the way through seven. That way, if anybody wants the demo code, I can send it to you. You can see how easy this stuff is. Real quick note, um, if you have a bunch of input-output modules staggered within your chassis, um, it's going to push all the inputs together. So they're going to be sequential on the list. And then all of the outputs will be listed together. And the web server will tell you how many short integers you need to have to make that work. So um, that's basically it for the quick video. Let me go back to seeing my smile on face again. So um, honestly, super, super easy. I got to tell you, product is priced phenomenally well. If you're used to using the Allen Bradley products, these like annihilate them. And with the features with the bus coupler, the USB port, phenomenal. Um, I think you'd be very, very happy with it. Um, let's see. Giveaways, questions, so uh, free of fuel. I think I said a pound the other day, it's 12 ounces, just FYI. And this is another Black Rifle Coffee Company t-shirt, XL size. Uh, this one, other ones were technical, this is a riddle now. So the question is, um, I look and I see a boat filled with people. The boat has not sunk, but when I look closer, I don't see a single person on the boat. Tell me why. Um, feel free, email back at lcrawford at ad-techcci.com. Look forward to hearing from you. And again, if you want to see the demo, I'd be happy to ship it out. It's in a Pelican case. It ships really well. Um, I do have a tremendous amount of this kind of I.O. to try out. Um, Ethernet IP, Profinet, Modbus TCP, Ethercat, CAN. I think there's a CAN open protocol. Don't ask about device net. That's, dead. That's a dead, bad network. So anyway, thanks so much. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day.